Wu Lung and I Lung. I have received one horseload of polished rice, four to one, and a bale of taros and respectfully chanted Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Myoho Renge Kyo is likened to the lotus. The Mahamandara flower too in heaven and the cherry blossom in the human world are both celebrated flowers, but the Buddha chose neither to compare to the Lotus Sutra. Of all the flowers, he selected the Lotus Blossom to symbolize the Lotus Sutra. There is a reason for this. Some plants first flower and then produce fruit, while in others fruit comes forth before flowers. Some bear only one flower but many fruit, others send forth many flowers but only one fruit, and still others produce fruit without flowering. Thus there are all manner of plants, but the lotus is the only one which bears flowers and fruit three simultaneously. The benefit of all the other sutras is uncertain, because they teach that one must first make good causes and only then can one become a Buddha at some later time. The lotus sutra is completely different. A hand which takes it up immediately attains enlightenment, and a mouth which chants it instantly enters Buddhahood, just as the moon is reflected in the water the moment it appears from behind the eastern mountains, or as a sound and its echo arise simultaneously. It is for this reason that the sutra states, among those who hear of this law, there is not one who shall not attain Buddhahood.4. This passage means that if there are a hundred or a thousand people who embrace this sutra, without a single exception all one hundred or one thousand of them will become Buddhas. In your letter you mention the anniversary of the death of your father, Mitsuno Rokuro Zaman Nudo. You say, since he left many sons behind, memorial services for him will be conducted in as many different ways. I fear, however, that such ceremonies will be slanderous unless strictly based on the Lotus Sutra. Shakyamuni Buddha's golden teaching states, the world-honored one has long expounded his doctrines and must now reveal the truth. 5 Taho Buddha gave testimony, declaring that all the teachings of Myoho Renge Kyo are true. And all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions gave credence to the Sutra's verity by extending their tongues six to the Brahma heaven. To the southwest across the ocean from Japan, there is a country named China. In that country, some people believe in the Buddha but not in gods, while others believe exactly the opposite. Perhaps a similar situation existed in the early days of our own country. Be that as it may, in China there once lived a calligrapher named Wu Lung. In his art he was without peer in the entire country, just as was Tofu or Koze 7 in Japan. He hated Buddhism and vowed that he would never transcribe any Buddhist scriptures. As he approached his end, he fell seriously ill. On his deathbed he expressed his last wishes to his son, saying, You are my son. Not only have you inherited my skill but you write with an even better hand than I. No matter what evil influence may work upon you, you must not copy the Lotus Sutra. Thereupon blood spurted like fountains from his five sense organs.8 His tongue split into eight pieces, and his body fell apart in ten directions. Yet his relatives, ignorant of the three evil paths, did not realize that this was an omen that he would fall into hell. The son's name was Ai Lung. He, too, proved to be the best calligrapher in China. Obedient to his father's will, he pledged that he would never transcribe the Lotus Sutra. The king of the time was SSU Ma 9 by name. He believed in Buddhism and held the Lotus Sutra in especially high regard. He desired to have this sutra transcribed by an excellent calligrapher, none but the most skilled in all the country so that he could have a copy of his own. So he summoned Ai Lung. Ai Lung explained that his fathers will forbade him from doing so and beseeched the king to excuse him from the task. Hearing this, the king called another calligrapher and had him transcribe the entire sutra. The result, however, was far from satisfying. The king sent again for Ai Lung and said to him, Since you say your father's will forbids you, I will not compel you to copy the sutra. I do insist, however, that you at least obey my command to write the titles of its eight volumes. Ai Lung begged repeatedly to be excused. The king, now furious, said, your father was as much my subject as you are. If you refuse to write the titles for fear of being unfilial to him, I will charge you with disobedience of a royal decree. In this way the king repeated his strict order. Ai Lung, though unwilling to be unfilial, realized that he could no longer disobey the royal command, so he wrote the titles, of the eight volumes, ten of the Lotus Sutra and presented his work to the king. Returning home, 
Ai Lung faced his father's grave and, shedding tears of blood, reported, The ruler commanded me so strictly that, against your will, I wrote the titles of the Lotus Sutra. In his grief that he could not escape the offense of being unfilial, he remained by the graveside for three days on end, fasting until he was on the verge of death. At the hour of the Tiger Eleven on the third day, he was almost dead and felt as if he were dreaming. He looked up at the sky and saw a heavenly being, who looked like Taishaku in a painting and whose multitude of followers filled both heaven and earth. Ai Lung asked him who he was. The heavenly being replied, Do you not recognize me? I am your father, Wu Lung. While I was in the human world, I adhered to non-Buddhist scriptures and harbored enmity toward Buddhism, particularly toward the Lotus Sutra. For this reason, I fell into the hell of incessant suffering. Each day I had my tongue wrenched out several hundred times. Now I was dead, now I was alive again. I kept crying in agony, alternately looking up to heaven and flinging myself to the ground, but there was no one to heed my screams. I wanted to tell the human world of my anguish, but there was no means of communication. Whenever you insisted upon adhering to my will, your words would either turn into flames and torment me or be transformed into swords which rained down from heaven upon me. Your behavior was unfilial in the extreme. However, since you were acting thus in order to abide by my will, I knew I could not entertain a grudge against you, for I was only receiving the retribution for my own deeds. While I was thinking thus, a golden Buddha suddenly appeared in the hell of incessant suffering and declared, even those who have destroyed enough good causes to fill the universe, if they hear the Lotus Sutra even once, they will never fail to attain enlightenment. 12. When this Buddha entered the hell of incessant suffering, it was as if a deluge of water had been poured over a great fire. As my agony subsided a little, I joined my palms together in prayer and asked him what kind of Buddha he was. The Buddha replied, I am the character Mayo, one of the 64 characters which compose the titles, of the eight volumes, of the Lotus Sutra, which your son, Ai Lung, is now writing. As eight characters form the title of each of the eight volumes, thirteen a total of sixty-four Buddhas appeared and shone like sixty-four full moons, and the utter darkness of the hell of incessant suffering was instantly transformed into a dazzling brilliance. Moreover, in accordance with the principle that any place is, without changing its characteristics, in and of itself a Buddha land, 14 the hell of incessant suffering immediately became the capital of eternally tranquil light. Point one five I as we LL as all the other inmates became Buddhas seated on lotus blossoms, and we are now ascending to the inner court of the Tushita heaven. Point one six this I am reporting to you before anyone else. I Lung said, it was my hand that wrote the titles. How could you have been saved? Moreover, I did not write them with sincerity. How could it possibly have helped you? His father replied, How ignorant you are. Your hand is my hand, and your body is my body. Your act of writing characters equals my doing so. Although you had no faith in your heart, you nevertheless wrote the titles with your hand. Therefore, I have already been saved. Think of a child who sets fire to something and, without the least intention of doing so, causes it to be burned. The same holds true with the Lotus Sutra. If one professes faith in it, he will surely become a Buddha, even though he may not expect it in the least. Now that you understand this principle, never slander the Lotus Sutra. However, since you are among the laity, you are in a better position to repent of my past slanderous words, no matter how grave they may have been. Ai Lung reported all this to the king. The king said, my wish has been answered with splendid results. From then on, Ai Lung basked increasingly in the royal favor, and the entire populace of the country came to revere the Lotus Sutra. The late Guru 17 and Lord Mitsuno were, respectively your son and father. You are the Lord's daughter. I believe, therefore, that he must at this very moment be in the inner court of the Tushita heaven. Hoki Bo 18 will explain this to you. Since I wrote in haste, it was impossible to furnish details. With my deep respect, Nichiren the 15th day of the 11th month. Background. Nichiren Daishonin wrote this letter on November 15, 1281, to Ueno Ama Gozen, the mother of Nanjo Tokimitsu, who later donated part of his estate to help Niko Shonin establish TH Head Temple, Teizeki-ji. 
the Daishonin was 60 years old when he sent this letter acknowledging the offerings Wei no Ama Gozen had made to commemorate the anniversary of the death of her father, Lord Mitsuno Rokuro Zaman Nudo. First, in an analogy with the lotus flower, the Daishonin explains the superiority of the Lotus Sutra over all other sutras in terms of its teaching of the simultaneity of cause and effect in attaining Buddhahood. Then, citing the story of the renowned calligraphers in ancient China, Wu Lung and Ai Lung, who were father and son, the Daishonin assures Wei Naama that when the child embraces faith in the Lotus Sutra, the parent will be able to attain enlightenment. According to the story which he relates, Wu Lung fell into the state of hell for his hatred of the Lotus Sutra, but because his son Ai Lung transcribed the titles of the eight volumes of the Sutra, Wu Lung was saved from his suffering. This story appears in the eighth fascicle of the Hak Denki, the Lotus Sutra and its traditions, a work by the Tang Dynasty priest Sang Sang. Ueno Ama Gozen's husband was Nanjo Hai Shichiro, the steward of Ueno village in Suruga province. The name Ueno derived from Ueno village, and Gozen, was an honorific title given to women. The couple had nine children including Tokimitsu and Rena Ni, the mother of Nichimoku Shonen, the third high priest of Nichiren Shosha. Lady Ueno's husband died in 1265 while she was pregnant with their last son. She raised her children by herself, maintaining pure faith in the Daishonin's teachings. She is said to have survived Nichiren Daishonin, but the exact date of her death is unknown.